Well, if you're watching last hour, President Biden was announcing sweeping new vaccine mandates, and they affect two thirds of the U.S. workforce potentially. So our nine health expert, Dr. Paul Coley, is here to talk about this. With I was just mentioning to Kim just a few minutes ago that I think it's still interesting to me how many people are just not going to get vaccinated and whatever mandate you push almost pushes them further from the line of ever doing so. Uh, I know that's more of a sociological question, but you, you discuss this with, with your medical counterparts all the time. Yeah. Do you think this moves the needle? This moves people towards vaccination? Tremendously, Tom. I think this was a long time coming. You're talking about 80 million Americans that are eligible that have not yet gotten vaccinated. And with this kind of, I mean, I hate to say it, but sometimes the stick is what you need rather than the carrot mm -hmm. because the incentives didn't work. So if you force people to wear their seatbelt or you find them, they're going to do it. If you force people to get vaccinated in order to try travel or work or whatever, they are going to do it. So I really do think that this is going to work. Let's talk about vaccination versus testing. This is something that you feel very strongly about. I do, and, and I know that the president has required vaccination for you know the, the hospitals where there's federal employees, but for private companies, he says you can opt out with testing. But I do want to make the point that they're not the same thing. Vaccination is prevention. Testing is damage control. Right. So by the time you test positive, you could already have been spreading the infection to others. So I want people to understand their complementary stra strategies. One doesn't replace the other. Obviously, we still have a large group of Americans who can't be vaccinated. We're talking about those young students and with schools returning and what's happened in many different areas with schools returning. Uh, COVID has started to flare in those areas. The mask becomes an important thing, mm -hmm. but testing is what the president was talking about today. The idea of making it so schools are regularly testing students all the time. Yes, and two good scientific reasons for this. Number one, as we've talked about, students can be asymptomatic shedders because they're younger. They don't tend to get as sick, so they could be spreading it. But the second is some of this modeling data that we've just found from the study in North Carolina, where if you had no masks and you had no testing in schools, 90% of the susceptible population that was unvaccinated would likely become infected by the end of the semester. Now, if you do the opposite, put masks and frequent testing, testing regularly in place, you prevent 80% of those infections from occurring. He, he mentioned again the term we've started to hear a lot in the last month or so, the pandemic of the unvaccinated is a term people like to use. Also the exasperation of the vaccinated, and you do hear more people uh, having that tone and that tenor about it. What happened between the 4th of July when the president was talking about independence from COVID and, and the numbers were low? and Labor Day, where everything seems to be high and the Delta variant is, is taking a grip now? I think the Delta variant is a big piece of it, and the other is we've hit a wall with our vaccinations. Until those unvaccinated people start getting vaccinated, we're essentially showing the virus what it needs to do to evade our immune system and our vaccines, and then we're giving it hosts through the unvaccinated people in order to evolve, mutate, spread, and learn how to do that. So my biggest fear continues to remain the emergence of a variant that is going to be resistant to the vaccines. You're positive about what he said today and, and what, what we think will happen going forward. I am positive that this is the right decision and the right thing to do. Our infection rate, according to Dr. Fauci, is 10 times what it should be. We had 300 percent more cases this Labor Day than last year, and now we have the vaccines. So that is just not where we need to be at this point in the pandemic. Well, we'll be hearing a lot about what the president had to say today. There will be reaction from both sides of, of the issue, as there are with everything these days. We appreciate your feedback, though, as always. Dr. Paul Coley, thanks.